Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the brand new Curse of the Sunken Kingdom in Sea of Thieves Season 4. Now, as you may know, Season 4 has just dropped in Sea of Thieves, and I'm going to be bringing you all of the guides, tips and tricks, everything you need to know about the brand new season in Sea of Thieves. So if that's something you're interested in, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving a like. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. In the Shrine of Tears, the first journal is going to be on the ground floor next to the pool and this table, just on the side. Next up, after you complete the first puzzle, you're going to go through the doorway which is just opened. Just on the right, on top of the barrels, is the second journal. For the third journal, you're going to be going through this tunnel system. You're going to take a first left, go through the doorway after you've completed the puzzle, take the first right, then take another right, and you will see the third journal. For the fourth journal, in the brazier room, after you complete the second puzzle, you're going to find the journal on the right behind one of the brazier statues. Lastly, the fifth journal, you're going to go down the pool and you're going to follow the tunnel round until you find another table. Just on the table is the final journal. In the Shrine of the Coral Tomb, the first journal is going to be in the pool on the very ground floor, and it's next to an ammo chest. After you complete the first puzzle, it's going to open up a room with yellow coral in it. Just go into this room, follow the tunnel round, on the left wall is the journal. After you complete the final red coral puzzle, just on the seabed in the tunnel on the right, there is the third journal. Once you complete this puzzle, the water in the room is going to rise. You're going to head into this room where there are catacombs on the wall. Just in front of the catacombs, there is a journal. Then after this, you're going to head out of there, turn right, go up the wooden scaffolding. Just in front of the wall again is the fifth and final journal. For the Shrine of Flooded Embrace, the first journal is on the very top of the spire in the galleon. You need to go through the hole in the hull, follow the door round, go up into the deck of the hull, turn around in the yellow coral is the first journal. The second journal is in the brig of another ship, just underneath a little shelf in which a ship sits on. You need to open the door, take a left and just on the left is the journal. After this, you need to go down to the seabed, go through one of the water barriers. Just opposite the mermaid statue is the third journal. The fourth journal is in the south corner on top of a shipwreck, just in front of some seaweed. And lastly, the fifth journal is in the north corner in front of some blue shiny coral on top of some more scaffolding. Next up, for the Shrine of Hungering, you're going to want to head to the seabed in the very first tunnel. Next to a skeleton is the first journal. After you complete the first puzzle, it's going to shoot you up onto this ledge. Just behind you in the rowboat is the second journal. For the third journal, you're going to want to run up this mast past this geyser spewing water out of the wall. Just to the right of the blue coral is the third journal. For the fourth journal, you're going to have to hop across some large spikes of coral sticking out the wall towards a mermaid statue. Just to the left of this statue is the fourth journal. Lastly, the final journal in this shrine, you have to go through two water barriers, one which leads you up. Just after you go through the second barrier, on the ground is the final journal. For the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune, the first journal after you come through the entrance is just on the right on some wooden scaffolding. The second journal is located in the tunnel next to the sloop anchor. Go through this tunnel, take a left, and it is just on the left wall. To get the third journal, just go down the wooden scaffolding from the ocean crawler galleon's anchor, and just on this coral big leaf thing is the third journal. The fourth journal is in one of the rooms where you have to fight a load of ocean crawlers. It is just behind the ocean crawler figurehead, which is resting on a rock. The final journal is at the very top of the spire near a bright pink glowing piece of coral. It, you will see it is on the underneath of a broken shipwreck. In the final shrine of tributes, when you find the mural or the uh, puzzle in which you need to set the mermaids to, turn around and just on the ground is the first journal. Next up, the second journal is in this bright glowing blue room of coralness on the ground next to one of the vents. The third journal is just in a bright red glowing corridor on a shelf. Fourth journal is accessible after you complete one of the main puzzles and the chair moves backwards. Jump across the chair and it is just on a ledge. The final journal is accessible by swimming underneath the statue which has just moved, going straight along until you come to the table and there is just the final journal resting on it. Once you have read all 30 of these journals, you will unlock the final Legendary Sunken Kingdom Voyage from Lorena. This will cost you 50 doubloons, but this is the last step in order to get the curse. 
So upon doing this, you need to buy the Voyage, a vote for it, and you're going to be given a golden Wayfinder compass. This is going to take you to a couple islands, you're going to have to do some digs, you're going to get some notes. Eventually you will stop getting notes and you will be told to go to one of the shrines where you need to follow some gold piles to the key. And then you put the medallion on the, the, the pressure pad thing and then you get the key. You're going to need to do this three times at three different shrines as I will show you. As you can see here, my friend BD found the first golden coin just on the monstrous remains. Basically, we just had to pick up this gold key, put it in the slot, and then it would lower down this door. <gasps> and then, fuck, a key was revealed. We decided to take this key back to our boat and put it in the collector chest. And then we were given another map after this. And then we had to go and go to the next shrine, do the exact same thing. As you can see here, I found the coin. And then I just had to go and find the doorway again, put it in, get another key, then go to the next shrine, which was the, the Shrine of Ancient Tears. Do that again. It was very easy, this one. And then essentially, after we did this, we went up, opened up our collector's chest. In our collector's chest, we had this big key. I'm not going to lie, it took us 10 minutes to find out where to put it. I don't know if you will have the same place as it as us, but you can read the inscription and it tells you where to go. And then once you read where to go, you go and find this table, insert it in the table. You go in here and you spam. I mean, sorry, you read the journals, you read every single bit. You don't spam enter. You just read every single passage and then you get given the curse and you're done. Yep, that's been the video, guys. I, uh, I hope this has been of some use to you. Uh, I understand it might be a little bit hard to follow with the journals and me not saying go here, then go here, then go here. It was rather me just saying this is where the journal is, not how to get to where the journal is. I can do separate guides on each different shrine if that's something you guys would like. Just let me know in the comments. Let me know what other content you want to see from me for this uh, Sea of Thieves Season 4 update. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know in the comments uh, and uh, yeah, let me know what you'd like to see. Anyway, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.